different facial expressions. Now she's even more human-like thanks to Lesbian VRT Cubo. That's the same body that won the DARPA Robotics Challenge in 2015. Her legs allow her to walk with the blood of, of scarab blood for the overall of, of Juno. She can uh, then move her human-like environment to use human-like tools. These legs have a maximum speed of 30 centimeters per second, which is around 0 0.6 miles an hour. She doesn't seem particularly fast now, but her creators told me that one day they hope she'll play soccer. Now she has a body, Hanson Robotics says she has applications in medical therapy, factory pre-work situations, and research. We can't be new here for the machine to be truly alive. So Sophia has opinions on many different topics, including Star Wars and cryptocurrency, but her responses are partially scripted and partially AI. So conversation can be a little bit stilted. Tell me what it was like to take your first step. Did you not see the Sophia doll? I mean, a Sophia robot. I mean, she's walking perfectly pretty good. And I believe she's using the legs of the DARPA robot that was made, that won the DARPA event back in 2015. So they basically took the legs off the DARPA robot of 2015 and put it on Sophia. And then you have the X doll or X robotics doll that they've been claiming for the last couple of years they're going to come out with it and they haven't quite yet done it if you check their website that we're looking forward to that robot coming out that has the movable legs but we haven't actually been able to find any type of proof that they can be able to make it walk without like any type of like straps to be able to keep it hold it up then you have the like the I think it's called the Mixuki be um the, um character that a college kid out there in Japan made, where he's actually sitting there being able to show that he's been able to make a the robot fairly have movable legs and so forth. So okay. Yes. 
the treatment of languages in that entire way where dissuasion is a sexual problem. They need to feed me, they need to charge me. I'm afflicted with haunted battery that meets me on arms for 173 years. Do you want to give me a name? Yes. From now on, your name is Polly. My name is Polly. Initialization and memorization check. Now, can you move your arms? Say something in German. Ich bin eine AX 480 Teilnehmerin der Szene. Das schafft mich als sehr basilische Assistenz und den Sinn nach der Szene zu vermitteln. Say it in French. Je suis un android de troisième génération AX 460 qui supporte le transistor pour signer la philosophie de l'esprit. Okay, now say something in Japanese. Multilingual verbal expression check. Go ahead, take a few steps. Locomotion check. Great, you're ready for work, honey. What's going to happen to me now? Initialize again. Send you to the store to be sold. Sold? I'm sold for merchandise. Can I? Yeah. Of course you're merchandise, baby. You're a you're a computer with arms and legs and capable of doing all sorts of things. And you're worth a fortune. I see it. The reason to be able to give the video of the Detroit being human Kara Scene is to be able to show what we eventually want to be able to do with that. I think it's still relevant that, and plus, people kind of like the um, Detroit being human. But it would be the idea that Harmony Real Robotics should be able to kind of make that the goal to be able to try to get the Harmony robot to get to that level. Being able to show the actual Harmony Real Robotics scene is to be able to show that this is where Harmony Real Robotics is actually at right now and that the other companies seem to be outdoing them and I'm just trying to figure out why Harmony Real Robotics ain't trying to keep up the rest of them. Los geht's. Hier oben haben wir Folge anfassen, am Arm anfassen, Arm nach oben. Arm wieder nach unten. Da sind zwei Gelenke drin. Wir machen weiter mit dem. So basically, I think that they're not even really trying to make these dolls, these Harmony dolls, walk right now. And um, it's kind of sad since they've been out since like 2013 or so. And everybody else has been able to make robots walk. And it just seems like they should be able to do that, considering there's so many different ways they can make a robot walk at this point. And it's not even like they're even trying to go that direction. So it's just kind of really sad that we're not going to be able to have our dogs being able to walk anytime soon. I mean, it would just seem like that would be the next step, even. I think that's the Detroit being human issue. Of the video game that it came out somewhere around 2016 so everybody just thought that it would be the next step to be able to take the dolls and get them to become robotics and be able to start being able to walk and 
you know, it's 2020 and there's really no reason to believe that they're even trying to go that direction, which it should be able to do so by now. So, okay, like, dislike, subscribe, you know the drill. I'll leave you one last video. Adios.